welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be getting a little up close and personal so come on in because we're going to talk about some really personal things okay just talking about the female body you know what we got going on in here um i'm obviously not a gynecologist or in OBGYN. I'm just a regular regular schmegular girl finding comfort in how my body works and how it functions and being okay with the things that that comes with. There's not enough people that you can actually like trust per se that talk about this kind of stuff. First of all, I wanted to say that this video is in collaboration with my girl Jade. She is an amazing YouTuber slash personality on the interwebs and she is killing the game you guys she's everywhere she's all over the place all the time she's so fancy i'm just honored to be a friend she's going to be talking about periods menstrual cramps pms i think she'll be able to speak to that a little better than i would so that's why i wanted to like you know point you guys in the direction to her channel i will link her channel down in the description box i don't really have problems with period cramps and things like that but what i do have good understanding of is cleanliness care taking care of yourself so that's what i'm going to be talking about in this video let's tell our stories okay i got my period when i was 13 years old i was in middle school they have you watch this video talking about how your body is going to change and things are going to be weird they talk about sexual harassment and that's pretty much it like they, nobody really gives any like super deep insight into how to take care of yourself, how to maintenance your body, what's normal, what's not. You know, they don't talk about those things. They just tell you, hey, one day you're gonna bleed. My mom briefly explained after crying and, and, and you know, looking in there and seeing what had happened and then my dad buying me some shoes, which I still don't understand why he bought me some shoes. Then my mom proceeded to tell me what it is that was happening with my body. The room is spinning, colors are brighter, men smell different, and I'm confused. I felt like a monster, okay? Hair started growing in weird places and I started smelling weird. And you know, things over time just began to be really awkward for me especially when everybody started growing boobs and I didn't, but that's besides the point. It's okay to know your body and know yourself, you know what I mean? So over time I had to learn myself. We we're all very different. So what some people were going through, I'm like, oh, I don't have those problems or, oh, that doesn't happen to me. And so I'm confused, like what's wrong with me? Why is this not happening to me and it's happening to everybody else or vice versa? Why do I have so much hair and other people don't? It's okay to be different. It's okay for everybody to have different things going on and you're still a woman. Okay, you're not weird, there's nothing wrong with you. You're just you. I had to be comfortable with myself and learn my body. Your body smells, okay. You got different smells going on and sometimes the smells are normal, sometimes the smells are not. From the time between I turned 13 until now, I've learned my body odor, okay. And it was weird because when I got married, my body odor kind of changed a little bit because I was getting some on the reg. But yeah, your body has a distinct scent and you need to know what that scent is. And I'm not talking about musty smell, like, ew, you need to take a shower kind of smell. It's just like Virginia has a scent. So you need to know what that smell is so you know if something is going wrong when it smells different than what it usually smells like. You wanna make sure you smell good, not just for yourself, but because if you're gonna have other people going down there, which eventually you will, you still gotta go to your yearly checkup, your OBGYN. If you get waxed or something, you gotta have shawty down there doing her do. So you do need to make sure that your body is in tip top shape. The vagina is a self-cleaning oven, okay? So it doesn't need extra help. But there are things you can do to make sure that you're not messing up your oven, okay? The number one key is taking care of your body, taking care of yourself, eating right, drinking water, lots of water, drinking fluids in general, good fluids, not bad fluids, not soda, not coffee, juice, fruit juices, good fruit juices, pineapple juice. We all know pineapple juice does wonders for you, girl. You know, of course, whatever you eat is going to change your body odor because it's gonna come out it's gotta come out. If you eat some asparagus, balance it out with some pineapple juice, flush it out with some water, some cranberry juice. Medications, certain medications, even like birth control pills, things like that I've heard are the catalysts of changing your body odor. As I've grown older, I've learned that certain things like, you know, it comes out of my pores. Like I can smell it. Dairy 
comes out of my pores, which is why I have this bump right here. Um, it just, certain things you just know you're not supposed to be consuming because they just tear you up. You also want to make sure that it's moist. When I was younger, I used to think something was wrong with me. I thought I was like peeing on myself sometimes. It didn't feel like pee because it wasn't coming out of the pee hole and I would just feel something and I'm like, mm. What's that? Um, and then I would look at my panties when I went to the bathroom because you always should check, you know, you should always be checking down there, checking to make sure everything is Gucci. So here I am, you know, 14, 15 year old Vicky trying to Google this stuff, finding all the wrong things, which I don't recommend. But there were no videos like this telling me that discharge was okay, that it was normal. I was talking to a friend and she was telling me, I don't have that and I'm really, really dry and itchy and I get yeast infections. And I was like, oh really? Because I'm, I'm, psh, girl. But I've never had a yeast infection or a urinary tract infection, anything like that. Um, even though those are really normal and people get them all the time, I've never had one myself. And I believe it's because I don't eat terrible. I think I take pretty good care of myself. Also, I don't do a whole lot of extra stuff to clean down there. So I'm not stripping away the moisture, doing too much by cleaning it out too much. You do wanna make sure that when you are checking for your discharge, you wanna make sure that it is not the wrong color. Cause sometimes if it is a different color, that would mean that means something is wrong. So make sure that your color is normal. Also, your discharge will tell you approximately what time of the month you're ovulating when you're fertile and things like that. So you can actually track that kind of stuff just by checking the stickiness. I don't really do that, but it is important to know how it feels, to know, you know, what it smells like, what it looks like. So if it's something's wrong, you can be aware. But it is important to know these things about yourself. Know what's normal and what's not. And that doesn't mean you have to be all up in there having fun all the time. It's just saying you should know what's going on. I also think I have a really good immune system and that's what helps me with not getting infections. Um, so taking your vitamins, getting your vitamins from your food really helps out because it's keeping not only the rest of your body healthy, but it's keeping your Virginia healthy too. I used just simply water. I just cup some water in my hands when I'm in the shower and just splash, you know? But I don't do like feminine washes or anything like that. Like I used to do Summer's Eve a long time ago, but I don't even use that anymore. Even when I do have periods, they're not super dramatic or heavy or anything like that. So I don't feel dirty. When I feel like I need a little extra clean, especially, you know, if something's gonna be happening when I hop up out that shower, clean with a unscented or all natural soap. I swear by Dr. Bronner's soap anyway. I love Dr. Bronner's. You guys know I love Dr. Bronner's soap only because it is all natural and it's helped like my body acne and with breakouts. Plus it lasts a long time. You don't need a lot of it to do what you gotta do. So I use the Dr. Bronner's tea tree oil soap, but tea tree oil actually does help with breakouts, clearing bacteria and things like that. I use it on my face. I use it on my body. I really dilute it with some water and just do a light wash down there um, I don't go all up in there just the creases and the only other thing that I use in that area in the shower would be a scrub only in the areas where I get waxed which is all over which if you guys want to see a video about waxing versus shaving I made a video about it before but I can do an updated one I know people like updated versions of things but I do get like Brazilians like I get the whole area like all the front all the back girl all up in the crack the creases the crevices all up in there so i do have to make sure that i exfoliate so that i don't get ingrowns because nobody wants ingrowns i've tried the one from european wax center and that's my favorite one to use in that area because it's gentle i only use it about two to three times a week i don't use it every day of course and if i don't take a shower before I do the nasty. Then I will use the Good Wipes, which I talked about before on my channel. They are pH balanced, alcohol free, paraben free. So I feel like they're a little bit better than just regular old store-bought wipes that you may use in that area. Of course, those work too. Obviously, it's not the only thing on the market, but I like those the most. Some wipes they have an alcohol -y smell. You know, whenever you can smell something like that, that's how it tastes. I don't want it to taste nasty, you know? So I prefer the Good Wipes because I feel like they don't have that scent and flavor. Um, they're hypoallergenic and they're flushable and biodegradable, so that's good too. I hate when wipes are not flushable. Like, what am I supposed to do with a wipe if it's not flushable? Your back part, I like to clean there too. I, especially because I get waxed back there. Um, but I like to use wipes in general when I go to the bathroom because I feel like wipes get everything, okay? I try to make sure to wipe good back there too since I do have someone else 
you know also I got some questions about what I do after um to clean myself make sure to clean that up with a wipe I don't just go to bed I don't fall asleep or go to bed sticky and I make sure to pee every single time just pee you need to pee Virginia needs to breathe just like you need to breathe just like you need air Virginia needs air sleep with no underwear on I feel like that's the best way to give Virginia some air um, because when you're sleeping you know your body's regenerating and doing all those necessary processes that it needs to do so obviously you need to give her some air and let her breathe you know leggings workout tights super hot clothing all the time dark creepy moist wet places breeding ground for bacteria so if you're hot if you're sweating and you don't give her some air you're gonna be causing frustration okay she's gonna be frustrated also make sure you're wearing cotton underwear I would suggest wearing full underwear I don't wear thongs I don't think thongs are helpful in any way number one because they're uncomfortable I don't like having a string in my booty because the booty be hungry those strings can go back and forth and irritate your vagina by bringing unnecessary bacteria from your anus to your vagina you definitely don't want to be transferring bacteria in that way so wearing thongs all the time is not the best option every now and then they are necessary especially if you're wearing something tight like a dress or something you know I've heard going pantyless is better than wearing a thong but I can't do no panties I'm sorry I just can't especially because I know I'm a juicy peach we don't want to have no problems big fella um and if you do have to wear like workout tights put on a panty liner and that'll help to absorb some of that moisture also panty liners are good for people who are juicy peaches um so that you're not messing up the inside of your panties panty liners are also good for your underarms too if you underarm sweat if you have a lot of underarm sweat girl we don't want must we don't want funky dirty like you didn't shower for a couple days smell take good care of yourself girl treat yourself get you some nice looking underwear underwear that actually matches i know i don't have a whole lot going on so to have a bra that matches my panties it always makes me feel a little bit more you know womanly well endowed if you will even though i'm not be grateful for what you have and take care of it accordingly so i think that's all for this really awkward video if you guys want me to talk about more awkward situations and more awkward things because i'm not ashamed um we can do another v talk video let me know what you guys want to see next i'm thinking either boobs or waxing versus shaving and if you have any suggestions let me know also this is an open forum i would like for you guys to give your tips if you have any um and if you have any questions ask them in the comments and everybody feel free to chime in and give their experience because i think this is a great way for us to talk in a healthy environment talking about things that we should talk about as women together also be sure to check out jade's video if you want to talk more about pms you will see her in her video i will see you guys in my next video i love you all and i'll talk to you soon okay bye